Yeah. Oh, fuck. Go easy with the chemicals. I want to uh, use this pool tonight. You got it, Miss Jack. The water's gonna be like satin sheets. <laughs> So, you're having a good time? It's wonderful. I always dreamed of being the Rush Magazine centerfold. <laughs> no, no, no. Not yet. Your, your interview week hasn't finished. Don't forget, a big part of choosing the Rush Girl of the Month is, uh, attitude. My attitude is totally positive, Mr. Jackman. I'm totally positive I'll do anything you want. What was that? <laughs> no, 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 let's do it here. It's not so deep. Let's do it here. Let's go back over there. It's not so deep. Brittany, to the side. I always want an invitation to this place. Lorenzo, keep your mind on your business. I always do, Cap. Not that business, police business. Oh, that business. Uh-huh. Hey, Diana. Nice outfit. Yeah, is that legal? Don't you have to have, like, a permit or something to wear that thing? I suggest you keep your distance, or this guy might jump off the gurney. So, any preliminary info? Just this. The man sucked up too much water into his lungs. Hmm. Accidentally or with some help? Can't tell yet. There are no obvious signs of a struggle, but he had company sometime last night. Well, if Jackman is half the sex freak he was supposed to be, I bet he'll have company in his coffin. Fingernail marks. I'd guess a woman's. Well, for the sake of his reputation, let's hope so. You know what? He could have gotten those from a sexual encounter before he was drowned, accidentally even. Yeah, it's possible, because his swimming trunks were off. But why would a woman want to kill a chauvinistic womanizer like Neil Jackman? Well, gee, Cap, I couldn't tell you. But 
I bet there are 12 women in that mansion with good reason, like January through December. It's our duty to talk to each and every one of them. Yeah. They all live in the mansion? Yeah, it's a centerfold perk. But rumor says it was mandatory to stay on Jackman's good side. Well, he doesn't have a good side anymore. Yeah. Let me see something. Now, the marks look like they were made from the rear. They start here, then they get deeper here, they go down and away. I'd say that was right. Yeah. Looks like Jackman's lady friend must have had her arm around him from behind. Now, I want you to keep the pool off limits until you finish checking the filter system, OK? Yeah. Hey, Cap. Yeah. Jackman was married, right? Yeah. His widow is the editor of Rush magazine. He gave it a job to keep her quiet and away from divorce lawyers. H how do you know all this stuff? Come on, I spend all my time at the supermarket checkout stand speed reading the scandal sheets. But you, you don't believe all that stuff, do you? No. Only the serious stuff. Elvis, two-headed babies from Pluto. <laughs> what? Hey, excuse me, miss. Don't I know you? I'm Marilyn Peters. I was Rush of the Month in February. Yeah, believe me, he knows you. I know you. I haven't seen you around here before. Who are you? Yeah, we're police officers now. I'm Sergeant Lorenzo. This is Captain Lipschitz. Isn't it awful about Mr. Jackman? I've been so blue ever since I heard. I liked Neil. He was a nice man. So, you, uh, you going for a swim? Yeah, I love to swim. Do you ever swim at night? Sometimes. You go swimming last night? Oh, no. No, I went to bed early. Have to get my beauty Z's. You know, Miss Peters, are you staying here at the mansion? Yes. Yeah, well, thanks a lot, Miss Peters. We'll be talking to you later. In the meantime, though, the pool's off limits, OK? Oh, OK. <laughs> thanks. Thank you. All right. No, I don't care. Soften them up. When those lights hit her skin, I want you to think cream. Excuse me. Karen Jackman? Call security. No, no. Captain Lipschitz, Palm Beach Police. This is Sergeant Lorenzo. Ma'am? This is a bad time. We understand, Mrs. Jackman. Our condolences. I'm not grieving for Neil. I'm trying to get my Rush of the Year special issue ready. I don't have time to talk to you. There's a possibility this could be murder. Wouldn't surprise me. Neil was a hard, bitter man. Everybody hated him. Does that include you? Yeah, it does. I suffered the marriage so I could edit the magazine. I don't have to do that any longer. Wouldn't you rather discuss this in private? No, I would rather get on with my work. As far as I'm concerned, Neil's killer can wait. His magazine can't. Mrs. Jackman, did your husband do a lot of swimming at night? Swimming? No. Neil used his pool for his sexual frolics. He wasn't a very good swimmer, either. Either? As opposed to what, frolicking? Was he in any kind of trouble that you know about? Not here. Here he was king of this castle, an absolute ruler. What about outside? I never kept track of what Neil did outside Rush Manor. Did he keep an appointment calendar? Yes, he did. In his office, two doors down. Help yourself. Everything's here for the asking in Rush Manor. It's open. It's not locked. No, Neil wouldn't tolerate locked doors. See, if there was hanky-panky going on, he wanted to make sure he was in on it. Well, here she is, Miss Rush of the Year. What took you so long? I'm sorry. Save the smile, precious. They're cops. So, how about her? You recognize her? In clothes? Oh, absolutely. It's the, uh, it's the inner beauty thing. Whoa! Nice tender lady, that Karen Jackman. Yeah. What do you think she meant when she said her husband wasn't a very good swimmer either? He's a lousy lover. Neil Jackman. Yeah, sure. That's like saying Einstein couldn't add. Neil Jackman, super stud rumor or reality? Hmm. No locked doors, huh? Police officers, open up! Nobody. Yep. Looks like we interrupted somebody tossing the place. We sure did before they found what they were looking for. I don't think they were through. Yeah. There's a locked drawer. 
Man, you know, this has got to be the pinup hall of fame. Uh, pinups are pornography. Well, that, that depends on who's doing the looking. Ah, bingo. Yeah, Jackman's appointment book. Got anything for last night? Nope, blank. Look at this. Three times a week, every week, up until last week, a standing appointment with somebody he just noted as G. Mm-hmm. Well, you keep going backwards, Cap. Maybe you'll come up with a name. Hey, look at this. Got a file of names and addresses. Look, maybe we can get a match. Here it is. Galatea. Galatea. Sounds Greek. Galatea was the mythical Greek statue Pygmalion sculpted. Then he fell in love with her and she came to life. What? I read. Yeah. Here it is, Galatea. Galatea. A psychologist and sexual surrogate specializing in sexual dysfunction. You're telling me that Neil Jackman, the Sultan of Smut, was impotent? Sure thing, and I'm the king of England. <laughs> Atticus, what are you doing here? I work here. But anyone who finds me talking to you, my job is gone. So you've got to promise me not a word. An open door draws him like a moth to a porch light. Yeah. Well, that's right. Go ahead, make fun. But when you hear that I got pictures of who killed Neil Jackman, y'all are going to change your tune. <laughs> Everybody we talked to knew a different uh, Neil Jackman. His wife thought he was a jerk. February thought he was a nice guy. February? Yeah, Russia centerfold for February. Marilyn Peters, 36, 24, 36. <laughs> Add them all up, you get her IQ. Yeah, uh, 36. Never mind, it's just a joke. <laughs> Listen, Rita, is there any chance you're going to be done with this Mason trial by tomorrow? Not that I don't enjoy backstopping Lorenzo on this, uh -huh. chatting with all the beautiful women at Rush Manor, but I got a department to run. Yeah, well, I know it's killing you, Captain, but the DA's office said it's going to be three or four more days, so. What happened with those pictures, Chris? Well, you know what? Most of them are too dark. The ones that aren't are just candid shots of various people hanging around the mansion. Oh, this is nice. I know you hate every minute of this. Why don't you guys keep at it, huh? Neil Jackman and his killer in the pool, right? So, has anybody mentioned reward? Atticus, these pictures suck. They're all too dark. Well, what was I supposed to do, use a flash? I wasn't even supposed to be there. Hey, Atticus, did you by chance see who was with Jackman? Well, like you said, too dark. What the hell were you doing taking pictures in the first place? Well, just a harmless, innocent little photo record of my time at Rush Manor. You know, Atticus, I don't remember you telling us what kind of work it is you do out there. Huh? Well, it's just, uh, you know, a uh, pool man. And, uh, <clears throat> look, can I have my pictures back? Wait, 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 wait. what did you just say? Did you say pool man? What's wrong with that? It's honest work. That's the point. You never done an honest day's work in your life. Amen. The pictures. You know what? We'll give you the negatives. We'll take the prints. Let me ask you a question. Here, now. I recognize Jackman, right? Mm -hmm. Girls in bikinis, yeah. Who's this? Don't know. Never seen her before. She came out of Jackman's office just before I found you in there. She was in a big hurry, too. So why is it you're way down here away from the main house? Oh, I value my privacy. Here, sit down. Thank you. So what did Mr. Jackman think about that attitude? Oh, he respected it completely. I mean, when he asked me to live at the mansion, uh -huh. I agreed. But only if I could have a separate cottage as far away from the main house as possible. To avoid what Rush Manor's famous for? I reside here as a model, not a concubine. I don't understand, Candy. Why live here at all? I was July's rush of the month. Yeah, I caught the issue. <laughs> well, when you're rush of the month, you're expected to attend a million events, so I'd be here 16 hours a day anyway. So you really think that's why Jackman has his rush girls live here? <laughs> I'm not naive. I mean, there are good girls here, and there are bad girls here just like there are everywhere else in the world. It's just that this place is a little more glamorous. What did you think of Neil Jackman? He was always a gentleman to me. 
I guess that's all I can go by. You like to swim, Candy? No. You go in the pool last night, you go anywhere near the pool for any reason? I don't go near that pool. I mean, unless I'm required to for a photo shoot or something. It's just there's something about that pool that's dirty. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think I do. I appreciate it. Yes? Captain Lipschitz, Palm Beach Police. I want to talk to you about Neil Jackman. I know who he is, but I don't know Mr. Jackman. Of course you do. You're his sex surrogate. We found this in Jackman's desk along with his appointment book. Three times a week for a long time. Mind if I come in? Excuse me. Neil Jackman's dead. We think he was murdered. I heard he was dead. He was a patient of mine until recently. Mm -hmm. How recently? He told me he no longer required my services a few days ago. I haven't heard from or seen him since. Were you treating him for sexual dysfunction? That captain is privileged information. I'm a licensed psychologist. Mr. Jackman was my patient. Under the law, you're not entitled to any of the details of his treatment. Sex psychologist turned sexual surrogate. It's kind of working your way down a little bit, isn't it? I get results now, Captain, more than I ever did behind a desk. Laura Gallo. Is that your real name? Yes. Then why do you call yourself Galatea? She's the statue. If you're creating beautiful things out of nothing, why wouldn't you name yourself after the sculptor? I appreciate your knowledge of mythology, Captain, but I'm expecting a patient. And nothing could be a bigger threat to the men who come to see me than a cop. Jackman died of asphyxia, half drowned, half choked to death. His trachea was severely compressed, possibly by a chokehold applied from the rear. You know, there is a lifeguard chokehold. It's designed to neutralize the victim. That way, if they panic, they can't pull away or hurt the rescuer. In this case, rescuer slash killer. So there's no bruises, no contusions on the feet? You know, and you know this guy struggled. I think he was drowned in the deep end. Water he couldn't stand up in. So the killer was a very strong swimmer. She would have to be to hold him down and herself up, right? She. You're not definite on that yet, are you? Well, Diana said she thought the scratches on his stomach were caused by a woman. It's just a guess. Somewhere in that report, it says seminal fluid traces present. What does that mean? Well, Diana said it means extreme arousal, no ejaculation. Bummer. Wait a minute. Semen traces. Didn't you say he was impotent? Aha. Enter Galatea. Maker of men and small miracles. So a sexual surrogate that treated him in his own home, that's uh, pretty dicey. It could be her, Rita. We found her yesterday at the mansion going through Jackman's office. And she lied to me about being there, but we know she was because of this picture. So she has got a way in and out of the estate. That gives her opportunity. What about motive? Yeah, and what about means? I mean, you think she's capable of doing it the way you think she did it? Well, Chris is going to find that out for us. I want you to feel her out as a patient undercover. Not a joke, not an option. No, give me a break, Cap. I did. I made you an appointment with her. Yeah, not going to happen. <clears throat> yeah, Lipschitz. OK, I'll tell her. I want you back at the courthouse. OK. Uh, not in this lifetime. I'm shy. Isn't that why you're here? Why, why are you wearing a t-shirt? You said on the phone that was part of your fantasy. That and making love in the water. You look different than I expected. Uh, well, what did you expect? Mm, dyspeptic, older, bad vision, thinning hair, a man losing his confidence. Real name's probably Charlie. Charlie! <laughs> I, I think that, look, I, I'm just a little bit nervous here. It's okay to be nervous. 
It's okay to be anything you want to be. I'm here to be anything you want me to be. That's why I call myself Galatea. You can make me any way you wish. I'm your possession, your creation. The perfect love partner you've always wanted. Uh, okay, I get it. I, I like that. <laughs> Good. Are you coming in? I guess I have to. Yes, I'm coming. You don't have to if you don't want to. Remember, I'm your creation. Yeah, I, I guess a guy could get pretty hung up on his own personal customized love partner. I, isn't that how Pygmalion impaled himself on his own tool? I feel your resistance, Chris. You have a problem. You do have a problem, don't you? Yes. I think you would like your perfect woman to be aggressive. Yes, that's right. Take off your robe. <laughs> Are you gonna wear all that? Hey, now, I told you that I was shy. Get into the pool. That's an order. Mm, I like that. Come close to me, Chris. Your chest to my breast. Do it. What do you want, Chris? Uh, More orders? I'd like to make love in the pool. But, uh, in the deep end, and I don't know how to swim very well. Turn around. You're a cop. That's what Jacqueline liked, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? In the pool, yes. But not in the deep end, and only in this pool, secretly. He would have died before letting anyone know he was getting sex therapy. And he did, didn't he? That information would have gotten out, his magazine, his whole sex kingdom would have been a limp joke. But now you, on the other hand, you could have made a lot of money just by keeping your mouth shut. Are you accusing me of blackmail? What'd he do? Hmm? He refused? He threatened to have your license taken away. You were at the mansion yesterday morning, going through all of his stuff, trying to erase that paper trail that linked him to you. Because he was your patient, and you were with him the night that he was killed. If you don't leave right this minute, I'm going to file charges of harassment and illegally attempting to obtain privileged information. Now, oh, come on. Is that any way to talk to the lover who created you? You probably do need a surrogate, you wimp. Not the clue. Not, not the clothes. Did your husband have an affair with Candy? An affair? No. All right, all right. So, uh, maybe not an affair. Maybe, uh, maybe a one-time thing. It's possible. Is it? Was he capable? You don't have to protect his image anymore, Mrs. Jackman. The magazine is all yours now. Now, your husband was seeing a sex surrogate. Did you know that? Oh, what's the difference? A sex surrogate, a hooker? You pay them both for the jollies, right? Well, I think it's just a question of training and technique. One is treatment, and the other is not treatment. I... That's what I thought. Yeah, well, I figured he was hooked up with somebody trying to get straight, so to speak. Uh, what made you suspect? He was my husband, Captain. I knew him like a one-page book. We hadn't had sex for years, but I knew that for the last six months, he hadn't been playing around with any of the Rush girls either. And the downtime was just killing him, especially after Candy showed up. Well, when was that? Mm, about three months ago, around the time these pictures were taken. Oh, so that was right before he started with Galatea. Galatea? Listen, as a wife, when would you guess he graduated with his therapy? Maybe the night he drowned. He was as nervous as a virgin in a cat house. Too bad he didn't survive the ceremony. What were you doing that night? Sleeping alone. 
Were you ever a lifeguard, Mrs. Jackman? Are you kidding? I was a model, like Candy, only prettier. You know, you had the most to benefit from your husband's death. You know that, don't you? Neil was burning his wick at both ends. It was just a matter of time. And I was willing to wait. Service! Hi. Lorenzo. Come on. Hey. You looking for suspects or prospects? Whoa, whatever works, whatever works. Any holes in the little Jackman story? Ah, the lady's as tough and hard as an old knot. Yeah. She's convinced that Jackman had his ultimate climax for Candy. But Candy? No, I don't think so. Candy doesn't come across that way to me. Well, how does she come across? Come on, stop already with this boyish attitude about Candy. She's the Rush Magazine centerfold of the year, not the Immaculate Lady. I'm telling you, Cap, she's not like the rest of them. She doesn't come across materialistic, and she's a quiet girl. Yeah, so, so is Lizzie Borden. <laughs> All right, so she's a little different. Maybe I could be wrong. But then again, so could you. Now, what did you get on uh, Marilyn Peters? Well, not much, not much. Uh, she's young, man, 18 years old, and she's doing this stuff. She came to Palm Beach about a year ago, applied for driver's license. Was she ever a lifeguard? No, not on record. Neither was the widow, nor Laura Gallo, a.k.a. Galatea. What about Candy? She have a lifeguard certificate? Candy, Candy, come on, Cap. You're like a pit bull here. I got inquiries out to Cleveland, Ohio. That's where Rush Bio said she's from, but nothing back so far. Okay, stay on it. More memories for the memories? Uh, when are you gonna get around to cleaning the pool, Atticus? <laughs> okay. So I was, uh, taking a few pictures. Unauthorized by Rush Magazine, no doubt. What's the scam? No scam. I just, uh, like girls. Aha. Uh -huh. Especially nude. Or pretty close to it, huh? The human body does not offend me. Uh, 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 what's going on here, Atticus? Uh, well, a friend of mine has a contract to clean this pool. He wanted to go fishing for a couple of weeks, so I... Agreed to fill in, that's all. Uh, no, 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 no. Atticus, hard work is not something you would do for anybody, not even a friend. Oh. Look, it's just a couple of pictures. It's like a kid going to the zoo. When am I gonna see sugar like this, huh? But then Jackman goes and gets himself killed, and I start thinking, photo essay. Tabloids pay big money for stuff like this. Oh, wait a second. Why would anybody pay big money for your bad, out-of-focus photographs with no color when they could open up Rush Magazine and see these beautiful women looking better than they do in real life. But Rush Magazine doesn't have pictures of Jackman in his pool the night he died. Neither do you. You can't see anything in those pictures. You ever hear of computer enhancement? Tried it. Didn't work. You ever hear of creativity? I think we should tell Mrs. Jackman about this. What do you think? Ooh, that one. I just hear the name and I start thinking brass monkeys. Well... Maybe we can get Atticus to keep his eyes and his ears open for us. I'm your snitch, or you're gonna rat on me to Dragon Lady? Excuse me, but isn't that extortion? Yep, that's pretty much what it is. Oh. Well, as long as you allow me to maintain my dignity, what choice do I have? None. Now, what about Jackman? You ever hear anything about him? Any problems, bad blood, anything like that? Y'all met Marilyn Peters. But before Jackman discovered her, she was an underage stripper. And the guy she worked for wasn't too happy when she left. Who might this guy be? Don't know. But the club's little barbecue joint out near the college campus called the Student Body. Yeah, Marilyn Peters had star written all over a pretty little face. Seen that the minute she walked in here. Yeah, she come right off the farm. Some jerkwater town in uh, Iowa or something. Thank you. Lady. How'd she end up with the rush man? Jack Manette creep, he stole her away. He heard about her, he come in one night, signed her on the spot, told her he was gonna make her a star. <laughs> he made her all right. You know that for a fact? No, but a guy like that. Of course, Marilyn wasn't no goody-goody neither when it came to sex. You know that for a fact? Yeah, I know that for a fact. Don't get me wrong. I mean, she ain't no pushover like I hear some of the Rush girls are. She's just, uh, generous. Was Marilyn into any kind of underwater routines that you know about? No, but she was the best I ever seen in mud wrestling. Forget about it. Marilyn? Strong as an ox. Habish?
Hello, Miss Peters. Hello. How are you feeling today? Better? A little. Not so depressed, anyway. Yeah. We heard you missed out on being selected Rush of the Year. Yeah, I was hoping for it, but I've never been very lucky. Wait a minute. I think that you've been very lucky. <laughs> I'm uh, sure that Neil Jackman was also aware of your many attributes. Attributes? Good features, Marilyn. Well, thank you, Captain. You're welcome. Did you have an affair with Jackman? Well, you just get right to it, don't you? We tried, but Mr. Jackman had this problem. He wouldn't admit it, but he did. And he couldn't, so we didn't. But I would have, if he could have. I got a headache. Me too. Mm, good kick. Got a powerful stroke. It's a little awkward, though. I bet she's self-taught. No, no, no. That's OK. It's good enough to be a lifeguard. But there are no records. How are we ever going to find out? I have a thought. Huh? Oh, God! Marilyn! Marilyn, come on, grab him. Quick, he can't swim. Oh. Marilyn, hurry up. He's drowning. a little soggy, but I think he'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah, well, Marilyn, you, uh, you saved his life. <laughs> yeah? He's gonna save yours, Captain. Well, I'll tell you this, we better solve this case soon. I'm running out of dry clothes. Mm-mm. It was worth it, trust me. Easy for you to say, Cap. Easy for you to say, you know? Marilyn's heart was in the rescue, but her reflexes were all wrong. Nuh-uh. She was never a lifeguard. Like she was a strong, powerful swimmer. Why is being a lifeguard so important? See, if the killer wanted to drown Jackman in the deep end using a chokehold, she would never have tried it unless she had neutralized a guy his size before in a similar situation. I feel like an abused guinea pig. All in the line of duty. All in the line of duty. No, no wait, no, wait no. for me, Cap. No, 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 no. You go for a swim with Candy. Go for a swim with Candy. Dry and tidy. Are you all right, sweet cakes? Great. Just, just great. Hey, I thought I saw you headed out this way. What's wrong? We're shooting the swimsuit layout today for the rest of the year. Uh, that should be good, shouldn't it? You're the winner. We're shooting in the pool where Mr. Jackman died. Gotcha. Well, you know, it's, it's really not that bad once you get your feet wet. You know, I should have never gotten in this business. You know, I didn't mean to ask you about that. Why did you get in this business? You seem way above it. I did it for the money. My father's a sick man, and when my sister died in an accident, Things got so bad that he had to quit work. And I figured this is all I can do. Well, this could turn into a well-paying career for you. Uh, modeling, some commercials. You could act if you wanted to. It was a mistake. And now I just don't know how to undo it. Hey, you got to ease up on yourself, OK? You got pictures to shoot in a couple minutes. And they're going to want to see that smile. <laughs> yes, I was at Neil's house the night he drowned. That doesn't mean I killed him. Then tell me what it does mean. He sent me a note. It said, slip into the estate and meet him at the pool. So I did. I was surprised and flattered. Was he dressed or? He wore swimming trunks. But he asked me to take them off. He liked that. We did that in his sessions. Did you make love? No. I aroused him to a point, and then he asked me to leave, just like that. The bastard had a date, and he was afraid he wouldn't be up to it. He wanted me to prime him. Kind of like a last-minute refresher course, huh? 
He'd had me fired, and now he was using me again, just like he did all of his women. So what'd you do? I lost it. I told him he'd never get it up again. He was devastated. He wilted. Figuratively and literally. But he was alive. I swear, I didn't kill him. Ah, uh, this investigation hit a real snock. Well, at least we can eliminate candy in Maryland. Uh-uh, not from my list, you can't. Hi, right, guys. Here's the lab results on the hair from the pool filter. Not counting Jackman, there were a dozen different hair types. Well, we know at least one of them's gonna be Galatea from her own admission. Any natural blondes in there? Just one. The rest are out of a box. Well, Candy and Marilyn are both natural blondes, but they said they weren't in the pool that night. So why don't you get hair samples from both of them? I mean, that won't give you a positive ID, but it'll get you closer. And if they refuse? They're not gonna refuse, not unless they have something to hide. And in that case, that would tell you more than the samples would. Yeah, she's right. Come on. Strip the linen and burn it. And if there is any sign that Marilyn Peters ever slept here, you're both fired. Where is she? Gone, the ungrateful slut. She wasn't picked rush centerfold of the year, so she packed up her little things and left. Any idea where she went? Probably back to the sewer Neil found her in. Excuse me. I'm gonna need this pillowcase. I'll see that you get it back. Yeah! What? Ah, oh, you guys again. Hi, you keeping your short strike, Chris? Oh, you weren't very hard to find, were you? Why should she be? Tony asked me to come back the minute I called. You like my costume? We found a blonde hair in the pool filter that matches the one we find on your pillowcase at the mansion. You lied to us, Marilyn. You said you weren't in the pool that night. I'm sorry. You're sorry? What happened? Neil slipped a note under my door saying meet him at the pool in an hour. It was late already, and when I got there, he was floating, his face in the water. I was scared, so I ran back to my room. I mean, I didn't want anyone thinking that I did it. You got the note? It said to burn it, and so I did. Is it Jackman's handwriting? It was handwriting, but I don't know if it was Mr. Jackman's. She could have been set up, Cap. That's your cue, baby. <laughs> You're on next. Forget about it, honey. Come on, you guys. Can't you see your room and the girls come back? That's my girl. That's good. Give me that smile now. Oh, well, uh, unless you guys got a warrant. Don't come back. I got a lawyer. I got connections. I'm not afraid to use them. Come on, sweetheart. You look fantastic. Punk. I don't know. You think she did it? She lied. Her hair matched. But when she tried to save you, she didn't use the chokehold. Maybe she held back. Marilyn? I don't think holding back is something she does. <laughs> you got a point. Uh -huh. All right, everybody. Now I want a 10, no screw ups. This is our money shot. Skinny dipping with candy. Yeah, that'll work. You think we'll get a chance to watch her swim? <laughs> she doesn't want to come back here. Where is she? I need her here now. Hey, she's crying. What is it this time, Candy? I don't... I can't. Candy, lose the robe and get in the pool. Now. No. No, I'm not gonna do it. What? I said no. Oh, for God's sake, what is this crap? Are we playing the temperamental little star? I won't let you exploit me anymore. If Rush Magazine wants to make money off of women's bodies, it's not gonna be mine. Are you kidding me? Honey, there are thousands of girls who would kill for this chance. Then use one of them. You are not ruining my life. Wait a minute, what about the pictures we already took? That's time, that's money. I let you take them, use them but you won't take any more. They are no good to me without this setup. 
Sorry. You have a contract. You'll hear from my lawyers. You'll never work again. You know, Bridget, give me a girl. you might have been right about her. That took a lot of character. I'm telling you, Cap. For a local girl, she got a lot of class. Hey, local girl? No, I thought she was from Cleveland. Cleveland, Wales. It's a swamp town just west of here. Wait a minute, wait. So Cleveland, Wales, Florida, not Cleveland, Ohio? Yeah. No wonder we couldn't get any info from Cleveland. But somebody at Cleveland, Wales can tell us whether or not she was a swimmer. I'm gonna go check it out. You keep an eye on her. Okay, okay. How can I forget Candy Hart? She was a beautiful girl and a hell of a swimmer. She was my team captain for two years. Yeah, well, she's famous now. You know that, right? Rush Magazine, July issue. Oh, yeah. I hated hearing about that. You know, she was a nice girl. She was religious, respectful, modest. Modest to the point of being shy. Was she ever a lifeguard coach? I gave her the test right here in the high school pool. This is where she worked three summers. That's her. She's wearing a bathing cap. Yeah, she always wore one. She was afraid the chlorine in the pool would ruin her pretty blonde hair. And a sister of hers, that's another story. She wasn't afraid of anything. The sister who died? Yeah, her name was uh, Lori. She killed herself. She'd been in that filthy magazine too, but that didn't surprise anyone. That girl was as wild as they come. You just knew something bad was gonna happen to her. Thanks, Coach. You've been a very, very big help. My pleasure. All right, give me three potted palms back there by the fountain. The place looks totally Here it is, open. Karen. Your new Rush Centerfold of the Year. You're a lifesaver. You're gonna be a star. Are you still mad at me? We were all so sad when you left. We're just glad you reconsidered. Our little family wasn't the same without you. <laughs> Well, it didn't take long to replace me, did it? Rush Magazine just devours young women. Mm. Even with Mr. Jackman dead, Marilyn's a fool. She reminds me of my sister. Uh, you mind if I get that? It might be from me. <laughs> no, go right ahead. I'm no longer a resident here. Yeah, Lorenzo. Yeah, Lorenzo. Uh-huh, listen. Candy's the one. It was revenge for her sister's suicide. The sister was a rush centerfold, and Candy blamed Jackman and the magazine for her sister's death. Now, what about the hair in the pool? She didn't lose any. She was wearing a bathing cap. Huh. Now, listen, Lorenzo, I'm going to get some backup for you. Uh, we can arrest her for suspicion, and my guess is we get a confession, all right? Yes, sir. Uh, I agree. Now, listen, I'm sorry, Lorenzo. But you were right about it. She did the wrong thing big time, but she has the heart of a good kid. Yes, sir. I'll see you later. Any more lives. You. You're no different than your husband. Don't you have a conscience? Don't you even know what you've done? <laughs> Spaghetti was great, Rita. I owe you one. No, we're even. You deserve it, you know. Okay. 
So, how about some coffee? Uh, not yet. <clears throat> you wanna go take a swim? I would sink like a stone. Well? Ugh. Uh, is this for me? <laughs> yeah, open it. All right. <clears throat> what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, for swimming? Mm -hmm. Thought you should break the habit of swimming in your clothes. <laughs> <laughs>